My name is Evan Kahn. I'm 39 years old. Uh, I race cars. Uh, I own a business. I'm a father. Uh, racing the cars kind of brought out a uh, weakness. Uh, my insides would kind of slosh around due to the extreme g-forces from driving the car at speed. And um, so initially it was just a physical thing. You know, I wanted to come get stronger, a little more fit, help myself that way. Um, and then um, my life basically started to accelerate over the past couple of years because I made some decisions to acquire a business to become a business owner. Stress started to make me irritable. Um, it started to affect my body and the tightness and um, in ways that physically started to make me feel uncomfortable and um, lashing out with anger. You know, uh, you kind of always hurt the ones that you love or the people that are closest to you are the easiest ones to lash out against. I came for initially for physical, but then I started to realize some of the benefits uh, mentally that I was having. So I talked to Hallie about them and she said, uh, she suggested a technique called Yoga Nidra. It was a, a good experience, um, relaxing, um, and then it went a little beyond that into more like a dreamlike state where I didn't feel the weight of my body um, uh, laying on the floor but my mind was still aware so I wasn't dreaming because when Hallie spoke I was aware of her speaking uh, and I was able to you know take a direction when I came out I felt very rested which was the first thing I noticed and physically I felt very rested but over the past couple of days um, there's been a lot of uh, insight um, just kind of um, not just not really reliving what had happened, but just as a result of it. Um, the analogy that I came up with is that I had been following the same path I'd always followed because that's all I really knew. And I know the textbook definition of insanity is doing the same thing you've always done and expecting a different result. And now it feels like there's a, a new path that I can go down, that I can choose to go down. Um, a path that, that allows me to be strong, allows me to be kind, allows me to be flexible. This I did with Hallie, no crunch. This, this was just, this was just uh, asking for a guidance to a direction or a place that I wanted to get to and being, you know, being basically given direction but not let me carry you there. There's a sense of calm and peace that I have now that I think is also going to translate over back into the race car uh, because in, in the race car, uh, if I'm not focused and I do something wrong, not only can I wreck my car, I could harm myself physically, but we're racing wheel to wheel. There's four to six cars right around me. So my decisions and my lack of focus could impact other people in a way that I don't want to. And I think that, that this is helping me uh, focus uh, the direction that I want to go as opposed to focusing on the direction that I was afraid to go. Because I know this in the race car. If there's a big wall right here, and I'm steering the car. I do not look at the wall. Do not look where I don't want to go. I look where I do want to go. And, and that's, that's kind of what I've been getting in the past two days. I'm, I'm looking in the direction that I want to go now.